In order to do it cheaply and easily, I said, well, I like the post office. I ship stuff in my VSM business all the time, and I do it flat rate, and the post office gives you the box to do it in. So here's a flat rate box that I thought would be large enough without being too large to turn into a, uh, a fencing dummy. Part of the challenge, which was implicit, is that it should be freestanding and bonus points for being able to hold a weapon. So over here is my very first iteration of it as a, as a more or less finished project. And all I did to create this was I took the, the box, folded it up, I stuffed styrofoam sheets inside of it that I bought at Home Depot. You get a pack of uh, more than you could ever use for 10 bucks. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't sell them individually or I would have got less to keep the cost down. And then after I stuffed the box, like you can see through the holes in the top that there's styrofoam in there, then I just took some cheap uh, handy panels, cut it in half with a skill saw, and I glued it to the outside of the box. Then I cut holes through it, and then I had to drill holes all the way through the top side of the box. And at that point, I realized I've probably made this far too complicated for most people to do. <laughs> so I finished this project up just to see how the stand would turn out, and it, it came out pretty well. Um, but then I kind of abandoned uh, the, the wood on the outside because it's too complex. Uh, I made just a god-awful mess in my front yard uh, with styrofoam bits. Once I tried to drill these holes through it, it's just little tiny bits of styrofoam everywhere. So it looks like uh, Christmas. It did look a lot yeah. like Christmas. Though. And it was difficult to do straight also. Um, so then when I gave up on that concept, I went over to a simpler idea where I just said, I'll just take a cardboard box, I'll cut the holes in it, so you don't need a hole saw, you don't have to figure out how to drill holes straight through it, just cut holes in the top of the box, and then I'll fill it with this stuff you use to fill uh, uh, cracks in uh, houses to uh, insulate them better. And what this is, is kind of like a can of styrofoam that self-inflates itself once you once you uh, put the straw into whatever you're trying to uh, plug up and then you pull the trigger and it squirts this chemical in there that then foams and turns into a harder plastic inside the box. So it's basically self-filling styrofoam and the way it looks when it's all dry is like this and it's just slightly squishy it's waterproof um, and it glues everything together quite nicely. But so, it, it provides then some structure, internal structure to the box. Yeah, so it makes the whole thing much more uh, durable so that when it gets hit repeatedly, um, it'll hold up. Uh, I was concerned though that uh, uh, a foil uh, might, or, or an epe might poke a hole in it. So on this version of it, I added a piece of uh, polyethylene, the stuff they make uh, signs out of. But this also added cost to it. So in the end, I, I decided it's really probably not necessary. And all you really need is a square of something fairly durable just on the front. And Harbor Freight sells these, uh, these traction pads or uh, 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 pads that you use to uh, alleviate uh, fatigue from standing on concrete too long. And it's got this nice kind of tire pattern in it, but it's already covered in... Uh, it's got like a self-adhesive. Yeah, it's a self-adhesive peel and stick kind of thing. So this is like a, the sort of stuff, a tile floor in your, in, by your workbench in yeah, the garage. Exactly. Or exactly. in your mud room, you'd have it to really take your boots off and, and yes. not slide. But it's, it looks like it sticks perfectly to the box there. The sticks pretty well to the box, and uh, if it falls off, you can hot glue it back on. It's pretty simple to do. And that simplified everything. So you didn't, in, in this version, you don't need a hole saw. Uh, you don't need to make tiny balls of styrofoam go everywhere. Uh, you can just cut the holes in the cardboard box. Like, here's one ready to get foamed. 
All I have to do is put the uh, uh, the PVC pipes through it. So I use a couple of three quarter inch PVC pipes as the vertical rails that then slide up and down on the uh, the stand, and you can set it at whatever height you want. So, for example, uh, here we're replicating a shorter fencer, and I take the clamps off, and I can adjust it to a higher height if I, I want to. And you can make the stand whatever dimensions you can, want. Can you show that again, Sean? Sure. So you take the clamp. So the clamps are holding it oh. at whatever level, yeah. and then you can slide it down, and then you can fix the clamps to hold it so it doesn't slide anymore. Yeah. The and clamps cost a dollar a piece. Yeah. So it's adjustable. It's also, you can make it right-handed, you can make it left-handed. Uh, you wear out the front side, you can turn it around and wear out the back side. If you put the pipes through it at different angles, like Corey's was already uh, uh, remarking on, you can make it turn at an angle to you or high line or low line. All right, so you right now just have the, the pipes that hold the weapon in place. You just had to go through it at a, at a yes. horizontal. But what you're saying is if you drilled the, the pipes in at an angle, a 45 degree angle, a 30 degree angle, then the... Uh, I would go much slighter angles than that. But yeah, okay. so basically just a few degrees up, down, inside, outside will make a lot of difference. Okay, so that gives them... So when, when they're creating this, they will need to factor in perhaps that angle um, when they're creating it because you can't really redo it after you've done yeah, it. Yeah, or you can make more than one too since it's pretty cheap to make just the, the box itself. Okay. Uh, so here's here's a box I folded up ahead of time and I cut the holes in it just so I could demonstrate how to put it together. And so Sean, uh, uh, how'd you get the holes in the same spot every time? Exactly what I was covering. Uh, <laughs> first thing I did is I made a template. Okay. So you want to do something the same way twice, make a template. So I just took a couple of pieces of cardstock, taped them together, and uh, from my original prototype, I had determined the spacing I wanted to use. So the spacing of the holes that go through the, the top and bottom of the box have to be the same as the spacing you use in the base. Hopefully that's obvious. Um, so I, I chose something wide enough that it be stable and have enough for about a, a 12 inch target in the middle. And then I still have room in the box to put the arms in, in on the outside of it because the, the arms can't stick through where the stand goes. So this all worked out for me fairly well. And the dimensions I used are here. If you want to just do what I did. So the holes in the very top of the box that the skinnier pipes go through are spaced 12 and a half inches, whereas the armholes in the middle of the box are spaced at 19 inches. So we'll, we'll uh, when we post this to uh, YouTube guys, we'll have the uh, link to where you can find the PDF of the, of the uh, dimensions as well as the cost list. So Home Depot sells PVC pipe in two foot increments. So you need a couple that are three quarters of an inch diameter pipe, and you need a couple that are uh, one inch diameter pipe, uh, which is what these are for show and tell. I've already pre-cut these uh, to the right size for this box, so I could demo putting this together. Uh, the arms holders are much shorter, of course, and these, there's four each one inch and four each uh, three quarter inch. These are the PVC pipes you get in the sprinkler aisle for building uh, uh, irrigation systems that will go in your yard. And they just slip on. Uh, and if you want them to be real permanent, you can buy yourself some PVC glue and uh, glue them together. So the, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. It's very easy to do. So here I'm gonna put, put the arms in. So the holes I've already made. It's hard to get without the cardboard little jagged edges. So I'm quite worried about it. 